There's a document out from the World Economic Forum that proves once and for all that we are indeed transforming the entire world economy into a digital blockchain system. The technology this document refers to is what they call DLT. If you want a way to remember it, think of BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, but with a D, DLT. It stands for Distributed Ledger Technology. If you subscribe to crypto viewing, you should know what that means. A distributed ledger is a database that is consensually shared and synchronized across multiple sites, institutions, or geographies accessible by multiple people. Underlying distributed ledgers is the same technology that is used by blockchain, which is the technology that is used by Bitcoin. All right, let's go over the document. The title of the report is Digital Assets, Distributed Ledger Technology and the Future of Capital Markets, Insight Report, May 2021. The introduction states, over the past year, financial services and technology experts were engaged in a series of global workshops and expert interviews. These were executives from banks, asset managers, exchanges, financial technology companies, and regulators. They deal with assets, asset management, equities, debt, securities, financing. Let's look at some of the logos and see who some of the players are. These are the powerhouses of world finance. Okay, look here, we see Deutsche Bank. We see the Bank of England, Citi, Credit Suisse, Santander, Fidelity, BlackRock. BlackRock is the corporation of corporations. It's, it's the big boy. ING, JP Morgan, Bank of New York Mellon, UBS, the NASDAQ, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the World Bank. Those are just a few of them. Are you following me so far? These people run the world financial systems. So yes, we are talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, blockchain cryptocurrencies, tokens, smart contracts. What are the largest financial institutions in the world saying about all this in the report? This report will provide executives, regulators, and policymakers with insights on the emerging uses of DLT in capital markets. Key insights. DLT is beginning to reshape the capital markets, but the future is uncertain. The regulations are not in place. Not all the regulations are in place. And we still are not in the situation that we have multiple cross-chain transformability. What does that mean? You have an idea? Yeah, you need to keep track of everybody and keep it on a master ledger. People in uh, Ghana need to use their digital token and people in Taiwan and people in uh, Sri Lanka. And it needs to all be, they're going to be doing their own thing with their own tokens and their own cryptocurrency and their own, uh, what their health care is at a different level. So somehow need, the whole system needs to mesh, right? Correct. And so now we have a couple of solutions in place. One is called Chainlink. Chainlink is a so-called oracle where you get data across multiple chains mm -hmm. or multiple chains can pick up data over Chainlink and can integrate that as a, as a source giver. You know, whenever you need to transact something, it'll give you the real time are the real price, the real value, the real amount. That's chain link. Then we have the graph. The graph is the registry of the um, blockchain environment. So everything that happens on blockchain will have a Google for itself, like a search engine where you can look for specific transactions, entries, items, whatever. And that's called the graph. It needs to have its own Wikipedia. And uh, you remote viewed that coin too. The, its own Wikipedia is the, uh, what was it called? The library token. File the big coin. One. File coin? File coin. File coin, right. So what else do you need? You need a cross-chain 
um, solution where you, with all the data from the registry, from the oracles where live feed data comes through, needs to be transmitted from one blockchain into the other. And so there we do have two solutions. Number one is Cosmos. You remote viewed that. Yes. That was a great one. And number two is Polkadot. Market forces supported by regulatory and technical developments are pushing participants in the capital markets to digitize and consider the use of distributed ledger technology. Key trends include growing institutional and regulatory comfort with blockchain technology, the potential for central bank digital currencies. Oh boy, central banks raise their ugly heads. After years of experimentations, many DLT and smart contract use cases in capital markets are live across jurisdictions. Significant tailwinds may support adoption of DLT solutions in capital markets. Growing retail and institutional investor interest in digital assets, most notably cryptocurrencies, growing regulatory comfort with DLT, technical developments, growing maturity and improvements in interoperability. The report says blockchain cryptocurrency will emerge as a platform for digital bonds, bond trading, corporate and retail bonds, loans, securitization and servicing, derivatives, equity markets, asset management, wholesale payments, custody service. If it involves money, it's going to be on the blockchain and it's going to be a digital cryptocurrency. The report details the unique properties that could provide material benefits to capital markets. Trust, shareable data, tokenization, smart contracts. DLT is one of several technologies transforming capital markets. We also have cloud computing, AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, robotic process automation, next generation application programming interfaces. These are the movers and shakers, and they've got it all planned. By the way, they didn't just start planning this last year. This has been decades in development. I was told about all this four years ago. Here are some of the standalone blockchain bonds that have already been issued. JP Morgan, Santander, Bank of China, Loans will be issued on blockchains using cryptocurrencies. How securities will be well suited to blockchain smart contracts. It's a long report worth reading. We will put up a link below. Conclusion. DLT presents both an opportunity and a threat to traditional capital market institutions. Capital markets must continue to hone their strategies around this technology, according to the report. In order to survive, corporations and financial institutions are going to have to get on board with blockchain, with cryptocurrencies, get everything tokenized, or they will go bye-bye. So banks are leveraging their balance sheets and they're pushing money around to make them look good every quarter. Uh -huh. Every three months they have to issue a report. Yeah. So they're shoveling things around to make themselves look good. So these are in, in balance sheet. This is called balance sheet management. <laughs> <laughs> Creative name for. Yeah. So balance sheet management means a bank that is completely <clears throat> fucked up. They can create out of thin air numbers that make them look good. That's balance sheet management. If you look at the contributors, you see the big names in the biggest financial institutions. I looked up a few. Just take a name, any name. Do a web search and see where that person comes from and how they're connected. All right, here's Andrew Wong, a director at UBS, Hong Kong. His business address is in the city of London. UBS is a Swiss multinational investment bank based in Switzerland. That's a great, great article here yeah Tennessee, HSBC they're, they're all all in there let's make a new world yep 
My job is to learn about all of this. When I see a report like this, I read it. I look up any term I don't know. I research the people involved. I follow all the trails. I get a basic understanding of what it means. And as we have said for many years, we are witnessing the transition to a new financial system based on blockchain distributed ledger technology, cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin will be the corporate store of value, not a means of exchange. These corporations are designing and implementing the tokenization of the entire planet. It's an exciting time. This is a once in a millennium opportunity to achieve vast wealth by investing in the transition. Good luck.